Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Dime and Old Guy Gaming. Uh, and actually, this is Undead Legacy. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, it is uh, getting on in the day. I kind of wanted to get back out to the mine and, and get a little bit of mining done. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm going to need iron and all that kind of stuff and steel for repairing the horde base. So, let's see. Oh, we do have a few more of these in here, too. So, let's grab those out of there. You are making titanium ingots and all kinds of other stuff. And you're working on cement. All right, you know what I think we might do is let's just go back out to the mining site and mine without proper protection because it'll be really dangerous <laughs> to do that. Um, you know what we might be able to do is make some wood spikes just to tide us over for now. Because I got plenty of resources for that. Uh, how much does it take to make one? Three seconds? Yeah. Um, I don't know how many more I'm going to need. I'm guessing, I mean, we got the 12 here and, I don't know, probably another 20 to 30. So let's make 30 of these. And it'll it'll be better than nothing, right? Uh, because I, I'm just not, I don't think I'm going to uh, have the turrets and all that stuff ready and still have some time to mine before night. It's just impossible to, to work out in the wasteland at nighttime. Um, you know, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I mean, I've tried it and it doesn't work. It's just, it's too damn dangerous. So, okay. So what I'll do is as soon as these wood spikes are done, um, I will pick them up and head out to the mine site. Uh, let's repair that too. And let's just see how many resources we can uh, get done uh, or pull out of there before, you know, uh, night hits. Uh, and I'm actually, what I need more than anything else is is um is iron uh so that there we can make steel and that sort of thing all right let's see concrete we can make 93 of those let's make say no i actually don't even need that many of these right now how about if we make say 20 and we'll save the rest of the concrete for other stuff for later um now the uh, horde, <coughs> excuse me, the horde did breach my mine down below, and it's all jacked up now, and I haven't even had time to go down there and do anything about it. But I'm kind of done with that mine at this point, just because here again, it's um, it, you know, it's breached and it's not working so well anymore because it's just calling in you know screamers almost immediately, and I think it's time for us you know to to move out to our our major mine and that you know that pit mine could potentially end up being the um you know our our last mine in this series if if it can supply us well enough with everything that we need uh speaking of which i um i did watch uh a video on subquake's new uh, experimental release and i like it I have to say I like it and so I got to thinking well how how would I be able to um, upgrade to you know the new experimental or maybe even wait until it's actually released and still keep this base and the answer is quite simply elevators um, and what what I could do is I could make three of the six story elevators which would get us up to 18 stories um, and that would get us, uh, with a couple of extra blocks down below, that would get us all the way to the roof. How do I know that? Because I actually created a test save and I, I tested that out. Because that would be quite the investment. I wouldn't want to do that, taking a chance of it not working. Um, and then and then basically the idea is instead of you know going up the ladder, we would go up the elevator with our mining cart loaded up with, with goods. And it would take longer, but it would still mean we could keep our base here. Uh, and do the update because there's some really cool stuff in the update if you guys haven't seen you know seen that yet um, There's like these new scorpion monsters and there's new weapons and new everything man um, and, and now you can now upgrade the workstations like you can upgrade the sent disassembly station You can upgrade the, the chemistry station to level three and just really cool stuff like that So I'd like to experience that and if I can make it work to where I can, we can experience that and keep this save going too, because I'm not really done with this save, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see if we can make that happen. All right. Anyway, let's grab all of this. So um, I've been sitting here blabbing, and look at that. We got our our spikes right there. 
said I wanted to make 30. Okay, so yeah, let's head on out to... Uh, I believe I have gasoline in the mining cart already. Well, you know what? Just in case I don't, let's make sure we have a little bit of that with us. Uh, and let's just go out to the new pit mine and mine up as much of it as we can before before nighttime. And then we'll come back and smelt stuff and... Uh, oh, yeah, I got I to gotta reinforce that too, but I'll have to do that later. We'll come back, smell stuff, and get <clears throat> excuse me, get ready to repair and upgrade. Well, not so much upgrade, just mostly repair the horde base. I'm not really planning on changing it, but we do have to get the fences fixed and get all of the titanium repaired, and then you know, hopefully upgrade a few more blocks to titanium as well. Uh, so we don't have a lot of time. Let's just see what we can do. Okay, let's head over here and keep putting these spikes down. Get that done first. Okay, so maybe later if we have um, enough iron, we can just upgrade those two iron spikes. But that should do us for now. Now the zombos still might completely try and path around that um you know what i could do actually is just lock ourselves in there and then break it on the way out yeah maybe that's what we'll do because otherwise they'll probably path all the way around here uh i don't think that buzzard's got a beat on us and try and come through here because you know whoops i put that the wrong way all right so uh we got a lot of dirt here and we've um, and we got titanium and some still have some ruined stone to to go through. So I'm going to get started digging here and really hoping that we can, you know, get into some iron before we have to wrap it up for today. Uh, in game day, that is. And, um, you know, I, I could use my Valkyrie drill, but I really want to save the durability on it for the titanium specifically. So that's why I'm going to use the shovel. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it is what it is. All right, let's get going on this. All right. As I kind of thought might happen, um, the Zombos are... They're kind of just walking over the spikes. I mean, they are hitting them, but they're getting over them too easy. So I'm going to have to fix that. And the way I'm going to fix it is I'm just going to kind of dig a trench on the other side of the spikes. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, once I started digging, I knew there was absolutely no way <laughs> we we're going to get down far enough to get iron uh, before nightfall. We only have 30 minutes left anyway. So I figured, well, what the heck? We need the clay too, so we'll just keep digging. And um, just in case, you know, anybody is wondering why I am doing it this way as opposed to just going after the veins, well, it's because, you know, we're going to get a massive amount of stone from digging this pit, and we need a massive amount of stone, um, you know, because there's only a, a few layers of clay in the wasteland anyway, or, or dirt or whatever, and then it's just going to be stone all the way down except for, you know, when we do run into the, the veins of ore. So it's well worth our while to, to just dig the whole thing out for that reason. But yeah, we're not we're not definitely not going to be hitting any iron here tonight. And I decided not to mess with the the titanium right now either, because to do that I have to start up the Valkyrie and that'll call in a screamer. So I kind of want to wait, um, preferably wait until we have our turret set up before we start doing that. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to keep doing this until about five minutes till and then we'll jump on out of here and go get in the cart and head back to the base okay i'll see you guys back at the base 
All right, guys, uh, we are going to head on over to the Horde base and get started with some repairs. Uh, I'm pretty low on steel plating, but I got lots of titanium, so hopefully we have enough to do what we need to do over there. Um, I'm not planning on um, really doing anything new other than just repairing. As you can see, I've got pipe bombs and 762s cooking up in there uh, in preparation for the Horde night. So let's head on over there. It's uh, 2 30 in the morning, so we got an hour and a half left of night time, but <clears throat> we should be fine to get started with that. Oh, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to fix this too, but it looks like it's already damaged again, and I didn't bring any concrete with me. Oh, son of a gun. All right, yeah, let me go grab some concrete. We got to get that fixed. Okay. Oh, that needs a little attention too, doesn't it? Okay, let's get some stuff fixed here. So we got a lot of concrete fixing to do. And I will eventually get this all upgraded, probably to titanium in the explosion radius and actually it's not really the titanium right now that's the problem it's the steel okay let's get that upgraded and then i want to put you in there and get you fully upgraded yep we're already out of steel son of a bitch okay well Let's get the titanium stuff fixed up, and then hopefully when we go back out to the mine, we'll be able to get enough iron to make the steel we need to finish finish this up. Let's go see uh, what things are looking like down here. So we got a little bit of damage there. The uh, turret's actually in like perfect condition I wonder is it impervious to demolition explosions because we had like two demolition explosions on the last horde night if I recall correctly all right so that takes care of all that titanium um here let's go check down here that's oh okay good I was gonna say that's steel but we actually had a little more steel with us those are not really in that bad of shape so I'm not too concerned about them. Just touch up any concrete blocks on the way back up. Guess we can kind of just ride up this corner here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think that... Whoops. I think that takes care of the titanium upgrades. So the rest of this is just the steel that we got to get upgraded to. Um, but we can't do anything about that right now. Okay, let's get the fences back in order. Now, I uh, I brought some of that with me, and please tell me I have some iron plating, too. I, I don't have any iron plating. Really? Did I put some in uh, Roberta's inventory? Roberta, where are you? I don't even know where she's at. Okay, good. It's daytime. Where'd Roberta go? Oh, she's... Yeah, she's up there, but she's kind of... derping out a little bit. Let's see if we can get her to teleport to us. There she is. Okay. Um, did I put any iron... Great to see you, Master. ...in your inventory? I did not. All this stuff is for the pit mine. Uh, shoot. Okay. So, I'm going to have to run back up to the base, and hopefully I have stuff to make some iron plating. I'm that low on it. <laughs> I'm so low on it. What about you? Do you have any... No, that's all you got in you. Okay, let me go see if I can come up with some more iron plating here real quick. Okay, so we got some iron plating uh, from the base. Let's repair that. 
and that looks like it's already in good shape. Now what we want to do is grab this and uh, what the hell? I'm like stuck. My character is stuck. I can't move. <laughs> really? Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, hold on a second. Uh, let's see. DM. Debug menu on. No collision. How was that? Here. Fly mode. There. That was odd. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not stuck. I'm encumbered. That's what happened. I think I must have ran out of a... Um, a steroid. Okay. Here. I need all you. Systems go. How may I help? I need you. Uh, here. You carry all this titanium and concrete for the moment. That's too much for... Here. Critical right. errors. You can Shut stay there. Down. You can just stay right there for a minute. Okay. So, uh, let's grab you and hook up that wire there. And then we should be able to just barely reach this one. I've done it before. You have to kind of get way over here. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run uh, one wire off the Jenny. I, I, before I had that switch hooked up, and I'm not even going to mess with the switch. It's just it's too prone to getting damaged. And I think we can just barely nab this here. Perfect. Okay. The other one, however, we're going to have to come off of that relay down below. So let's jump down here and see if we can come over here. We just need to reach the very tip of this. Got it. Cool. Okay. That takes care of that. Let's head back on up. And then uh, you... Let's put some more fuel in here and turn you on. And then, of course, we have to do our requisite test of the fences. Make sure they're working. Oh, yeah. That one's working. Okay. And then we'll also test this one. Yep. It's working. Okay. So fences are back online, and we now have uh, what we need to keep them repaired, uh, which is electrical parts and iron plating, but hopefully we can get some more of that. I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm going to keep... Well, yeah, let's keep a little bit of this wire here, but we're going to need some wire out at the pit mine, too. Uh, because we're going to need to wire up the turrets when the time comes. Okay, so we're pretty much uh, done here, except for the steel repairing that we have to do. And this needs to be upgraded a little bit more, too. So we really need to go, um, you know, make sure we get a decent amount of iron and then be able to bring it back and have enough time to process it and get back here to do the final repairs before the Horde Knight actually starts. Uh, oh, I gave the concrete to, to you. Let me take those two things back from you. Can I move? Uh, just a little bit. And again, like I said, I'll get these blocks here upgraded too. We need to because they take so much damage from the uh, demolishers. But we're just a little shy right now on on iron and steel. Okay. So let's put all this stuff in here. And the con extra concrete can go in there. And that wiring tool should go in there too. Do you have a wiring tool Ready on Ready for duty. You do. Okay. And wire too. Gotcha. All right, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but 
let's head on back out to the pit mine and just kind of keep working on that. I don't have enough um, iron or more specifically steel to make the turrets, so we're going to have to just kind of keep working out there without the turrets for the time being. So I will meet you guys out there after I stop back by the base for... Um, I had a reason to stop back by there, and I can't remember what it was now. All right, well, anyway, I'll meet you out at the mine. All right, guys, we are back out at uh, the mining site. So uh, first thing I want to do is I want to... Uh, oh, he's already caught up on our spikes. Um, I need to uh, clear this way so that the spikes are raised up because they're they're they were just walking over them so let me get that done first master we are not alone Frick, we're infected. And abrasive. Abrasive did. Just another beautiful day in the wasteland. Okay, that should make the spikes a little more effective for us now. Okay, let's get back to doing some digging here. I've got a bad feeling about this. The hell did he come from? She still just ran right over the edge of those spikes. Ow, that was close. <laughs> ah, stupid zombie bears. They are such a pain in the ass. A dangerous pain in the ass. while she was face down on the ground. I thought she was dead. That second shot that I took at her was just to blow her head off for the hell of it. Um, but she wasn't actually dead. Well, shit. Okay. Um, spawn on the bed, jump in a mini bike, and head back out there. That's all we can do. All right. I'll see you guys back out there. Damn it, Jim. Still not dead? Go down, lady. Seriously. All right, now, how do we get in there? <laughs> Stuff is over on this side. Woohoo! Okay, we're back in business here. Oh, all right. So, let's see. Now, because we really, 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 really need to get some iron, I think rather than continuing to dig this down one later time, which I am eventually going to do, uh, that is still the plan, but for the moment, 
I think we need to get down deeper and just see if we can get into some iron. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Spike's got another screamer for us. Let's just get a little bit more iron and then we'll head back and get it smelting. Alright, that's enough. My senses have picked up something. Just drop for us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully that's all of the kind of random tunneling that I'll do. Um, as long as we have enough iron to get the horde base ready to go, then from here on out, I'm just going to, you know, shave it down evenly, and we'll, we'll go all the way down to bedrock and then even further, you know, laterally once we get down lower. At least that is the plan. Okay, so, yeah, let's head on back to the base and get this stuff smelting up. All right, guys, I'm back at the mine. Uh, I believe we have enough iron um, and steel cooking up back at the base to finish our repairs and have some leftover for Horde Night. So I'm going to spend the rest of today. Uh, I see a big mom over there. Uh, rest of the day just continuing to shave this down. It looks like we only have one more layer of clay and then the rest is going to be stone. And then uh, when nighttime rolls around, I'll head back to the base and uh, I'll, I'll have a little more steel to make from the iron that's currently smelting. And then, you know, finish the repairs on the horde base for 98. And then we should have pretty much the entire day time of 98 to probably just kind of keep working on this mine for now, I think. So based upon that, I may not bring you guys back until um horde night starts uh well no l let me uh, well, i'll bring you back either when horde night starts or when i'm ready to set up the turrets here at the pit mine whichever comes first okay uh but i just got a whole mess of digging to do and you know i can only show so much of that on camera before you guys start getting bored right so yeah um that's pretty much where we are at with all of that So I think we'll wrap up this episode here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.